Elizabeth Aradu stood before the towering ancient castle, its weathered stone walls and turrets looming against the moonlit Transylvanian sky. The young woman's heart raced with a mix of anticipation and trepidation as she approached the imposing wooden doors, her fingers trembling slightly as she reached for the iron knocker. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit foyer adorned with faded tapestries and flickering candelabras. Elisabetta stepped inside, her footsteps echoing on the marble floor as she took in the grandeur of her new inheritance. She could feel the weight of centuries pressing down upon her, a palpable presence that seemed to whisper secrets from the shadows. As she explored the castle's winding corridors and vast, empty rooms, Elisabetta couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. The hairs on the back of her neck stood on end, and she whirled around, searching for the source of the unseen gaze. But the halls remained silent, save for the soft rustling of her skirts and the distant howl of a wolf in the night. Elisabetta finally reached the master bedroom, a grand chamber adorned with rich, dark fabrics and antique furniture. As she approached the fireplace, a sudden chill ran down her spine. She turned slowly, her eyes widening as they met the intense, otherworldly gaze of a figure standing in the shadows. The man stepped forward, his pale skin seeming to glow in the moonlight that filtered through the tall, arched windows. He was dressed in elegant, old-fashioned attire, his dark hair framing a face that was both hauntingly beautiful and undeniably dangerous. Elisabetta's breath caught in her throat as she realised the truth. This was no ordinary man, but a vampire lord who had been waiting for her arrival. Welcome home, Elisabetta, the vampire lord spoke, his voice a rich, velvety purr that seemed to resonate through her very soul. I am Vlad Strigoi, the master of this castle, and I have been waiting for your return for centuries. He extended a pale, elegant hand towards her, his eyes glinting with an unspoken invitation. Elisabetta hesitated, her mind reeling with questions and emotions. She had always known there was something different about her, a connection to this land and its dark history that she couldn't quite explain. But to be confronted with the reality of a vampire lord who claimed to have been waiting for her, it was almost too much to bear. Vlad sensed her uncertainty and took a step closer, his presence both alluring and intimidating. You are the descendant of my beloved, the one I lost so long ago, he explained, his voice tinged with ancient sorrow. I have watched over your family for generations, waiting for the day when fate would bring you back to me. Elisabetta's heart raced as she met Vlad's gaze, unable to look away from the depths of his dark, mesmerising eyes. She could feel the pull of his power, the whisper of destiny that seemed to draw her closer to him with every passing moment. And yet, a part of her resisted, afraid to surrender to the unknown. Vlad sensed her inner turmoil and smiled softly, his fangs glinting in the candlelight. Do not be afraid, my love, he murmured, his cool fingers brushing against her cheek in a gentle caress. I will never harm you. You are my soulmate, the one I have yearned for across the ages. Together, we will unlock the secrets of our past and forge a new future in the shadows of this castle. As the days turned into nights, Elisabetta found herself drawn deeper into Vlad's world of darkness and desire. He showed her the hidden wonders of the castle, from the vast, ancient libraries filled with forgotten lore to the lush, moonlit gardens where night-blooming flowers whispered secrets in the breeze. Vlad taught her the ways of his kind, the secret history of the vampires that had been lost to mortal memory. Elisabetta listened, enraptured, as he spoke of the eternal struggle between light and shadow, the balance that must be maintained to keep the world from falling into chaos. She began to understand her own role in this timeless dance, the power that flowed through her veins. But even as she grew closer to Vlad, Elisabetta could sense a darkness within him, a hunger that went beyond the need for blood. She saw the way his eyes would sometimes flash with a feral intensity, the way his muscles would coil beneath his skin like a predator ready to strike. And yet, she couldn't deny the attraction that pulled her towards him, the longing that consumed her very soul. 
One night, as they walked hand in hand through the castle's moonlit halls, Vlad suddenly pulled Elisabetta into his arms, his lips claiming hers in a kiss that was both passionate and possessive. She melted into his embrace, her body moulding to his as if they were two halves of the same whole. In that moment, she knew that she would never be able to resist him, no matter the cost. Vlad broke the kiss, his eyes blazing with a hunger that made Elisabetta's blood sing. You are mine, Elisabetta, he growled, his voice low and fierce. Now and forever, no force in heaven or hell can tear us apart. And as he claimed her once more, Elisabetta knew that she had found her destiny in the arms of her vampire lord, a love that would endure for all eternity. As their bond deepened, Elisabetta began to uncover the secrets of her own past, the memories of her ancestors that had been buried deep within her subconscious. In her dreams, she saw visions of a former life, a time when she and Vlad had been lovers in a world consumed by darkness and war. Vlad helped her to unlock these hidden memories, guiding her through the labyrinth of her own mind. Together, they pieced together the fragments of their shared history, a love story that had spanned centuries and defied the boundaries of life and death. But their happiness was threatened by an ancient enemy, a rival vampire clan that sought to destroy Vlad and claim Elisabetta for their own. They attacked the castle in the dead of night, their eyes glowing red with bloodlust and malice. Vlad fought bravely to protect his beloved, his sword flashing in the moonlight as he cut down their foes one by one. Elisabetta too discovered a new strength within herself, a power born of her love for Vlad and her desire to defend their home. She stood by his side, her own newly awakened vampire abilities surging through her veins as she battled against the invading horde. In the end, their love proved stronger than any force that dared to tear them apart. They emerged victorious from the fray, their enemies vanquished and their bond stronger than ever. And as the sun began to rise over the Transylvanian mountains, Elisabetta knew that she had finally found her true home, her true purpose, in the eternal embrace of her vampire lord. In the aftermath of the battle, Vlad and Elisabetta stood amidst the ruins of their once grand castle, the walls crumbling around them like the shattered remnants of their dreams. The rival vampire clan had been defeated, but at a terrible cost. The castle, their home and sanctuary lay in ruins, a testament to the destructive power of their enemy's hatred. Vlad turned to Elisabetta, his eyes filled with a profound sadness that seemed to stretch across the centuries. My love, he whispered, his voice heavy with the weight of their shared sorrow. I have brought this upon us, upon you. My past, my sins have returned to haunt us, and now you must pay the price for my transgressions. Elisabetta shook her head, tears streaming down her face as she reached for Vlad, her heart breaking at the sight of his anguish. No, my lord, she replied, her voice trembling with emotion. We are in this together, now and forever. Whatever fate awaits us, we will face it as one, our love a shield against the darkness. But even as she spoke the words, Elisabetta could feel a strange weakness overcoming her a chill that seemed to seep into her very bones. She stumbled, her vision blurring as a sudden realization struck her. The rival clan's blades had been coated in a rare, deadly poison, one that even a vampire's immortal body could not withstand. Vlad caught her in his arms, his eyes widening in horror as he saw the life fading from his beloved's face. Elisabetta, no he cried, his voice raw with despair. Please do not leave me. I cannot bear to face this world without you by my side. But it was too late. With a final shuddering breath, Elisabetta went limp in his embrace, her soul departing for a realm where even her vampire lord could not follow. And as the sun began to rise over the shattered remains of their kingdom, Vlad let out a howl of anguish that echoed across the Transylvanian mountains a cry of eternal loss, a lament for a love that had burned brighter than the stars, only to be extinguished by the cruel hand of fate.